What's going on everybody? It's a blessing to be here coming to y'all with another video. But before we get into the video, take a sip of my tea. Mm, good, good. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at EUR USD Euro versus the dollar currency. It's a Forex pair. So we'll be taking a look at what I did when I placed the trade last week and what I'm looking for to happen. Before we get started with the video, if you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you find it helpful, and let's get straight into the video. 4X, 4X, everything get 4X. Well, thanks for tuning in again, guys. So we'll be taking a look at EURUSD, as I mentioned. So starting off with the daily time frame, you can see it's been going in a downtrend for a while and then it shifted the, momen the momentum to the uptrend. So now what it's doing is still continuing the uptrend, the, it's still continuing the uptrend journey, but you can see why I got in this trade. Yes, so it was coming down. So taking a look at the charts, a shot straight up from this bottom area the bottom resistance zone sorry the bottom support zone from the trend line so this is a support trend line it touched it and shot straight up and went all the way to the top resistance trend line so once we do that on the daily time frame we already marked up the zones let me take this off we already marked up the zones but let's take a look at the one hour Okay, you can see the uptrend momentum. Let's take it a little bit further and let's see what the charts tell us. So even if we start from here, where it made a push up from this consolidation period, it made a push up, came down past the resistance, the previous resistance, then made a newer high and then came down. Try to make a newer high, it couldn't, came down to test the support shows and showed that the support is very strong so it shot up again and passed the old two resistance it beat the previous high and left it in the dust and it's making newer highs now so it made a newer high passing the previous resistance came back down to test the support which was the previous resistance levels then made a newer high but you can see right here let me stop this here and then go to the four hour time frame but before i go there you can see it tested this. So some people would have had, would have expected this. Let's just say most because a lot of people in day trading lose money. So most people would have expected this to push up from here. So just looking at look at the four hour time frame, you can just be like, oh well, if we were not taking a look at what has happened, if we were just taking a look at this right here. For instance, you say, hey, it has touched the resistance and chained it to a new support. So it's rejecting the downside. So it must go up. So what I should do here is put in my long position and you know, most people will try to have a heavy stop loss like this, let's say around 53 pips, if you're not knowledgeable and aim for this. Even if you brought it up here, it would have been like below this period and aim for the previous target. But there was only one indication that could have made you think this way. Let's take a look at that, this long rejection. But just because you see one long rejection to the downside and rejecting the support does not mean it will always continue the uptrend momentum. It has been bullish for a while. So let's see what the speed, let's see what has been going on. If you place a trade there, you're automatically out of the trade, just like that. Let's take a look back again. Too fast, took you out of the trade extremely fast. Here, take it back, let's take it back here. Right, this is called impulse trading. You're just quickly trying to hop in a trade because you see a trend occurring. So let's see what happened. 
say, okay, even I'll just put my stop loss below the previous wick. Let's continue and see what happens. Okay, it came up in profit and then put you right back at break even, but then boom, you're automatically out of here. So 20 pips stop loss, you out. And that could have been avoided so many different ways, but you got in because you've seen one candle. Okay, so continuing on, we see that what has been happening a shot straight down. You see this? These are strong four hour candles. We're on the four hour. So it came down 99 pips, almost 100 pips in for the eight hours, two four hour candles. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, as we keep going, you can kind of see that it has broken this old support. Let's see what the market continues to do. Okay, let's see. You can kind of say it was testing this zone. If it goes below, then it failed to, to maintain the support. Okay, coming back up. Okay, it's not an uptrend momentum anymore. So you have to wait. You can go in for a sell, but if you're new to this, I recommend just going in one direction and not trying to go both ways. You can see a slight downtrend momentum here. Very, very small, but that has, that has occurred. Okay, so from here we see that this has been tested multiple times and is a strong support. So we understand this is a strong support because it has been tested multiple times and it has not crashed below the support level. Keep that in mind. And what do we see here again now? The previous high, which was up here past the resistance of the trend line has been cracked above. So this has made a new high. The market currently is making a new high. Let's continue watching. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. We see so many supports here going on, then made a new high, rejection zones up here, then came down. Let's continue watching what happens. You see that wick? Keep that in mind. speed this up a little bit okay you see the market has changed the structure it was in a strong uptrend momentum strong bullish momentum and it's trying to continue that but it went down over here then continued this uptrend momentum came down tested this resistance failed to pass through it so tested the support again which was the trend line support then pushed upward. Let's continue to see what happens. Okay, the market has put, came down for a little pullback, but still continuing the uptrend momentum. Okay, so let's stop this right here and look at this. Let me get rid of these to clear the charts. We don't need these right now. Okay. So even if I have taken this off Fibonacci level, what do you guys see? I know it gets a little bit chopped up when markets are in heavy consolidation periods. You just have to keep your eye on them. And when you go to the higher time frames, it'll be a little easier to see, but that does not mean just stay on the higher time frames. Get yourself used to all of the time frames. But you see, it's a little clearer to see on the daily time frame. So even if you are watching this quickly without even putting my fib, I know by now this is probably in the middle of 61.8 to 70%. You can see, boom, right here. 
you could have put your position here stop loss this is on the daily time frame so stop loss will be a little heavy but then again the pay will be heavy as well you have to get in on a perfect time be willing to lose or be willing to risk what you can only risk and also know that your return will be hit heavy as well so you could have gotten like this to this uh to basically trying to get a one-to-one -one ratio but trying to get the previous high so quick 110 basically 111 pips round it up to 112 but that wasn't the one i'm talking about so let's keep going okay so this is the trade that i got in and the reason i got in is because there was support here strong support and this one let me get this off made a new high during it made a newer high than the previous high so the uptrend momentum is still continuing and when that happened i said okay let's see what goes on came down and then pushed up again and created a new high i said okay the uptrend momentum is continuing then i'm gonna have to get in on a trade start from zero to 100 stop loss being 100 percent got myself in a position around middle of 61.8 to 70 percent but you see, simple time, time will tell. This one did not trigger my position because it was around here. But even if you had a 70%, it would have triggered your position and went straight to the first take profit, which was 38.20%. So if we just put this here, a simple thing. This is a 1.11 risk ratio. 70.3 pips take profit stop loss being 63.6 pips but then again take profit was blasted through it wasn't a heavy blast but it touched it, it went up if you're paying attention on the charts you would have got in i mean sorry you would have got out or if you set alerts you would have got out but that's what i did i set my alerts and when it started retracing back a little bit got out well because you can see that this has been a little bit of shakiness happening if it was a clean transition like this, I would have stayed in longer or left, left some positions in. But I just want to take all my profits away. But if it was just something like this, a clean transition, up, down, up, previous high cracked. This is a new high, came down, and then went up. Cool. That's very nice to see. But that's what, that, has been, that is what's going on with EURUSD. And that was my trade that I took. But for this week, what I'm expecting to see is if we go on the weekly chart, you can see the downtrend momentum has been cracked and most likely if price falls it will fall to this level of a dollar and 20 cents coming between this is a support and support is labeled over here as well let me just change this for visual perspective okay there you guys go so i'm expecting price to at least go to the previous high which is around 1.23 dollar and 23 cents if we go to the monthly we can see right here dollar 23 will be good but if then again if the dollar or i mean sorry if the euro keeps persisting then it might crack above this resistance of a dollar 23 retrace back but then again if you look back what i said just because it's retracing back and showing signs of rejection does not mean you automatically enter look for more confluences to see what has been going on in the markets previously as well to see what will happen in the future but that's what i got for you guys today thank you for joining me you can see the markets are back open and please like this video if you found it helpful by any means you know i appreciate the support you guys have shown me subscribe to the channel if you guys are new or if you guys are coming back and you haven't been subscribed subscribe with a bell icon boom so anytime i post a video you'll be notified but thank you guys again for showing love to this channel supporting me and let's go together and gains, baby. Peace out.